The FAST ultrasound exam is utilized by emergency physicians and trauma surgeons for the evaluation and diagnosis of cardiac, abdominal, and thoracic injuries. The mnemonic FAST stands for Focused Assessment with Sonography for Trauma. This is a rapid, portable, and non-invasive way to detect hemoperitoneum, hemothoraces, pneumothoraces, and pericardial effusions in the trauma patient. The number of views in the FAST exam may vary depending on the clinical scenario and the experience of the sonographer. Some views are more difficult to obtain than others, and this will vary depending on the patient's anatomy and injuries. In this tutorial, we will describe a simple yet comprehensive technique for performing the FAST exam. To simplify our FAST exams, we keep the probe marker pointed towards the patient's head for all abdominal views. The easiest abdominal view to obtain is the right upper quadrant, often referred to as Morrison's view. The probe is placed in the mid-axillary line at about the 7th to 11th rib interspace. This view will demonstrate the liver, kidney, and right diaphragm. It allows for the evaluation of the potential space between the liver and kidney, called Morrison's pouch. An anechoic, or black, stripe between the liver and kidney in Morrison's pouch indicates free fluid, usually blood, in the intraperitoneal space. By sliding the probe towards the patient's feet, you can visualize the lower tip of the liver, where free fluid also tends to accumulate. By sliding the probe towards the patient's head, you can visualize the right diaphragm and the right pleural space. A hemothorax will appear as an anechoic, or black, fluid collection just above the diaphragm. A subtle counterclockwise rotation of the probe during any of the right upper quadrant views will often help reduce rib shadows and may improve visualization of the above structures. The left upper quadrant or perisplenic abdominal views are usually the most difficult part of the FAST exam. The position of the probe in the perisplenic view is the posterior axillary line at about the level of the 5th to 8th rib interspace. Rotating the probe slightly clockwise will eliminate the rib shadows and generally give better perisplenic view. In a good perisplenic view, you will visualize the periphery of the spleen and the left diaphragm, not necessarily the kidney. Intraperitoneal blood will usually be seen around the lower tip of the spleen or superior to the spleen, just under the diaphragm. A hemothorax will appear as an anechoic or black fluid collection just above the diaphragm. In both the right upper quadrant and left upper quadrant views, placing the patient in Trendelenburg position may improve visualization of the hemoperitoneum. In the pelvic view, the ultrasound should be placed directly superior to the pubic symphysis in the longitudinal position. A normal view will visualize the bladder, uterus, and posterior cul-de-sac in females. In males, the bladder and retrovesicular space are visualized. Intraperitoneal fluid will collect in the posterior cul-de-sac or pouch of Douglas in females and in the retrovesicular pouch in males. This view is not useful if the bladder is empty and should be performed before Foley catheter placement. The cardiac view may be valuable in blunt trauma, but is critical in penetrating trauma. The ultrasound probe is placed in the sub position transversely to evaluate the heart for pericardial effusion. A normal view will visualize the liver, diaphragm, pericardial space, and right ventricle. A positive view will show an anechoic region, or black space, between the heart and liver. If you are unable to visualize the pericardium in the sub view, the probe should be moved to the peristernal position. The long axis is the easiest view to obtain. In this position, the probe is placed in the left peristernal position between the second and fourth intercostal spaces with a marker dot pointing towards the apex of the heart. By sliding the probe inferiorly and laterally, you will be able to visualize around the apex of the heart. The normal structures in this view should be the left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic valve, the aortic root, and you may possibly see the descending aorta. Pneumothoraces may also be identified by the absence of the sliding lung sign. Evaluation of the right and left pleural spaces for pneumothoraces begins at the third and fourth intercostal spaces in the mid-clavicular line. The unaffected side should be evaluated first. The probe should be placed longitudinally to include two adjacent ribs. 
A normal pleural space will show the hypercoque layers of the pleura sliding beneath the ribs. When a pneumothorax is present, air does not allow for the transmission of ultrasound waves and the sliding sign is not observed. Remember, the FAST exam is a rapid, portable, and non-invasive way to detect hemoperitoneum, hemothoraces, pneumothoraces, and pericardial effusions in trauma patients.